Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey, uh, you're a semi-retired police officer. Um, have you ever had someone blame something that they did on the paranormal? <laughs> mm, no, not yet. <laughs> okay. Well, but I've only been doing it 30 years, so. <laughs> you got to watch the next men are so smart. <laughs> when crime is perpetuated, Corvette Ronnie gets to the bottom of things. So after police found methamphetamine in plain view mm -hmm. on a nightstand in his home, I a Louisiana see. man claimed a ghost placed the narcotics in his residence. Casper, maybe. Uh, Casper was a friendly ghost. Oh, I didn't know that. Be, it would have to be a mean ghost. Okay, mean ghost. Yeah. All right. Uh, responding to a reported stabbing, sheriff's deputies early yesterday, actually this was October 2nd, uh, encountered Michael Ottenberry, 59, at the door of his West Monroe residence. Ottenberry, seen at the right, we have a picture, uh, cursed at the cops and people who were obviously not there. Oh, so he was seeing people that weren't there. Yeah, I have, have encountered that before. I bet you have. Deputies quickly determined that Ottenberry uh, had not, as he claimed in a 911 call, been stabbed in the head by an ax, nor were there any intruders inside his home. Well, that they could see. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. yeah, they didn't bring their special equipment with them. Well, see, that's the first mistake. <laughs> Uh, while making sure that Ottenberry's residence was clear, a deputy spotted in plain view on a nightstand an open brown paper containing approximately one gram of suspected methamphetamine. Mm. Sus uh, subsequent search of Ottenberry yielded a pill bottle containing another gram of meth. Ottenberry uh, surmised that a ghost or of intruders. Uh -huh. Okay, so a pack of them. Yes. Okay. Placed the meth on him. Yeah. And were exiting the home through a nearby window. Oh, oh, so they snuck out. Then the, and, and the cops didn't find him. The cops could not corroborate that story. Huh. Yeah. What about witnesses? Uh, yeah, there were all. They had all gone out through the same window as the ghost. What was their motive? <laughs> I have a lot of questions, Ronnie. <laughs> Ottenberry was arrested oh. on a felony narcotics possession charge and misdemeanor criminal criminal mischief count uh so he'll have his day in court to explain to the judge about the ghost yeah well maybe they'll subpoena the ghost perhaps and then what you know what then they're sworn in right true maybe a ghost in front of a grand jury a grand jury ghost you uh, know I'm, i think that's what we're gonna have to have i think so yeah let's do story number two today in crime beat uh, officer corvette ronnie's crime beat sorry uh <laughs> a team of alleged burglars crashed a stolen minivan, what a shame, yeah. through the glass front entrance of the Native Roots Marijuana Dispensary. Okay, so let's, uh, let's reset the table here. You got this minivan, and you got this pot dispensary. Yep. And so thieves, alleged, they take the minivan, they ram it through the glass, they stole containers from inside the store, and then crashed into an oncoming police vehicle <laughs> during their escape. So crashing was kind of their thing. Yeah, well, it, yeah, it's their commonality. Right. But for all their trouble, the thieves didn't get enough marijuana for one, even one single joint, according to the spokesperson. In fact, they didn't get a single leaf. All the marijuana was locked up and the thieves couldn't get to any of the product, Ronnie. What did they steal? Well, the boxes they took were filled with, get this, T-shirts. Hmm. Okay. That's some value there. And oregano. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Wait, uh, wait a second. So oregano, I guess, kind of does look a little bit like marijuana. Were they expecting to get broken into? And so they had this, that was their security plan all along? To substitute oregano? I mean, come on, really? Well, an oregano is not cheap. I don't know if you buy much oregano. No, I haven't been in the oregano market. <laughs> I haven't been in any market, to tell you the truth. 
But it's uh, a lot cheaper than marijuana. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, however, unless you're opening an Italian restaurant, yeah. uh, a pasta place, yeah. probably not a lot not of use for happen. oregano. Well, no. the burglary happened around uh, 1 in the morning, and multiple witnesses called police reporting that another suspect was parked in front in a getaway car. <laughs> so they crash one. They leave that sucker there. They don't care about the damage to that one. Good call. They got a getaway car over here, uh, which I'm guaranteeing you the driver is high. Oh, yeah. But right. Yeah. A canine officer driving a marked Ford Expedition spotted the suspects. The getaway car drove around the officer mm -hmm. in an attempt to flee and struck the police SUV, causing minor damage, and then drove away. And get this, the oregano suspects have not been caught. They are still at large, Ronnie. What are you doing about this? <laughs> You're the one I turn to when there's crime. Well, You and Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. We need to put up the Corvette Ronnie signal. Oh, yeah, in yeah. the sky. we yeah. got to shoot it up there. Police Chief Gordon. We'll get, get, <laughs> get him on the phone real quick. Hold on. Police Chief Gordon. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm not sure... I mean, certainly the amount of damage they did to the building and the T-shirts they stole were probably the, the biggest hit that the, the marijuana dispensary took. But, yeah, you know, oregano, like I said, there's a market for it. Maybe they were hemp T-shirts. They could smoke those. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what are you rolling there? Your T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap up Corvette, Ronnie's, Ronnie's Crime Beat. I swear to God, uh -huh. I'll get the name of this this whole segment right one of these times. All right, <laughs> let's roll it. Corvette, Ronnie's Crime Beat. Ronnie, I like to think you have the finger, your finger, not mine, <laughs> on the pulse of crime as I it happens. what I felt there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Careful. Uh, you've got your finger on the pulse, don't you? Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm on top of these Nothing crime slips stories. through your handcuffs. Very little. Yeah. 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 You've yeah. got 30 years of experience. Yep. But no oregano busts. <sighs> Not yet. All right. The day's still young. If you enjoyed today's episode, we'd appreciate a like. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. Pretty easy. That way you get notifications each time there's a new show. Um, comments below, sponsors below, all the ways to get a hold of us, our email address, our website, etc., etc. It is menaresosmart.com. There it is right there. Okay. Uh, that'll do it for us for this episode. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. I got an idea. Yeah. Let's see you on the next Men Are So Smart. Ooh. And I mean you too. Totes. Okay. Absorb. Ab you know, ab adorb. <laughs>